My name is Devin with Sunstream Infrared Saunas, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to assemble your Option L bench with your Evolve Sauna. This optional L bench comes standard with our two-person and our three-person models, and is an additional add-on with our one-person models, the Evolve Mini and the Evolve 10. Now, having an optional L bench is very nice to have as a choice when you're inside the sauna. Ideally, you can place them in the corners and then go and sit diagonally, having space to go ahead and sort of, you know, stretch your legs out for a little bit more of a comfortable or spacious experience when inside the cabin. Now, I am accompanied today with the amazing and powerful Evolve 25 right here and the bigger brother, the more spacious Evolve 30. Note, the Evolve 30 comes with two benches, one bench like this, and then the other bench is just a little bit longer like this. I'll show you both of them here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to assemble this bench right here, but essentially the same exact process will be used to install the other bench as well. Now, to get this process started, you're gonna want a few things. One is gonna be a nice workbench or work table that's nice and flat. If you don't have a workbench that's nice and flat, you can do it on the floor, something stable and you know a structure that's flat, right? Next thing you're gonna to wanna to have is a cordless drill with a small drill bit along with a Phillips head. Next, you're gonna to wanna to also make sure that you've got access to your bag of screws that comes with the bench. You'll have the four legs to the bench along with the seat of the bench. And then lastly, here, the two frames that come with the bench as well. To get started, you're gonna go ahead and grab the two frames here, and you're gonna identify which one has holes on the side, which both of them do, and which one has holes right here on the narrow edge. Not both of them do. You'll start with this one right here. So you'll have that. And then you'll also identify and see which side of the bench or the seat here you wanna have face up. Essentially, which side you're gonna be seeing and sitting on when inside the cabin, right? In this case, I wanna have this side face up and sitting on it. But when assembling, you're gonna have this side face down. You're then gonna locate the frame that has the holes here on the narrow edge and you're gonna place and center this right here, this frame, on top of this seat. Now is the time to drill in your pilot holes into your legs. You're gonna to wanna to have your cordless drill with your drill bit on it, along with the leg, the frame, and a little pencil to mark each individual frame as well. Let's come on in. Now that you've got your legs and your frame in place, what you're going to wanna to do now is you're gonna start drilling in your pilot holes. You'll see that these pilot holes have already been pre-drilled. Yours will look more like this, and you're gonna be drilling in your pilot holes here. What I'd recommend doing is bringing it over to the corner like so, and once you've got it set up in the corner in a place that you wanna put it in, you can go ahead and come to the side a little bit and mark each side with the number one right here on the short ledge, right there on the small little thin ledge, and then the number one right here as well. And then you'll go ahead and grab your cordless drill with the drill bit on it, and you will screw in about a half centimeter or so, about a centimeter, a half inch, I should say, on each one of these holes here. And keep in mind that there's gonna be you know, two on each side here in the corner. So make sure you're getting both sides. And once you finish this process, you're going to repeat this with each corner with different leg, right? So this was leg number one, it's already marked right here. You can grab the second leg as, if you'd like and come to the next corner, right? And then mark this one as well number two here, and then a number two right here, and then do the exact same thing you just did, right? Drill about a half inch in on both sides, make sure you're getting all four holes, and then repeat that process for each corner. 
Once you've got everything marked up with regards to the numbers here, along with the drill holes created, the pilot holes, now it's time to get your screws and get everything screwed in as well. So just coming in and you'll feel it grab as you're screwing in, knowing that it's in. Make sure everything's pushed into the corner and go ahead and get these screws connected. Do the same exact thing here on all four corners. And then we'll go ahead and grab the other frame and get the pilot holes drilled in there as well. Now that you've got all four legs screwed into this frame here, you're gonna go ahead and locate the other frame and place it either on the table or on the other, uh, on the stool here, on the bench. And then at this point, you're gonna go ahead and lower these legs, these four legs, into the frame of the other one, right? Into the other frame here. And you can press down on it to make sure everything is nice and flush. And at this point here, you're basically going to rinse and repeat what you had just done over here, right? So you'll go ahead and you'll grab your drill bit along with, you know, you can use, you don't need to use a pencil marker at this point anymore, but go ahead and start drilling in those pilot holes right here on each corner. And then we'll go ahead and screw everything in. And at that point, this will be, you know, a, a very solid and screwed in structure and it'll be ready to be placed into the bench itself. At this point, you should have your legs, you know, firmly screwed in to both frames of your bench, right? Now it's time to get this aspect screwed into the actual bottom of the bench itself. And in order to do so, you're gonna make sure you find the side here with the narrow edge that has the holes on it. The side that has the holes on it, you'll place it onto your bench and center it in a location that looks symmetrical and even on all sides. Once you get the frame set up here on your bench, a big pro tip is going to be screwing in two pilot holes on the same side. And once you have these two pilot holes screwed in, you're gonna go ahead and put the screws in as well. Strive not to move this bench as you've gotten those pilot holes in and go ahead and screw in your screws in these two holes here so that way, whenever you get to the other sides, you're not accidentally wiggling or moving this frame. Thank you for watching this L Bench additional assembly video. I hope you found it helpful. This is what the bench looks like when it's placed inside of your sauna. You'll notice that it's nice and flush with the other bench that's already in here. And it's quite comfortable to go diagonally.